So how do you know which fraction is larger, 1 8 or 1 7? Well, you could use a calculator, divide 1 by 8, get a decimal, 1 by 7, get a decimal, and compare them. Figure out 1 8 is larger or smaller than 1 7. And you could reason this out as well. If you had one object, you divide it into 8 pieces, or you divide it into 7 pieces. Which one has the larger pieces? That's the one you divide into 7. So 1 7, that's greater than 1 8. We could also do it this way. We could find a common factor, common denominator here, something that 8 and 7 both go into evenly. So how about just 8 times 7? Because that'll give me 56. And then down here, 7 times 8. Because 7 times 8, that is also 56. So now we have the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 8 here. We have to also multiply the numerator because 8 over 8 is just 1. So we're only multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 1 times 8, that's 8. And 8 56 and 1 7, they're equivalent fractions. Up here, 1 times 7, that gives us 7. Now we have the same denominator, we can compare the numerators. 8 is larger than 7, so 8 56, that's larger than 7 56. Only by 1 56, but it's still larger. Since we said these are equivalent fractions and these are equivalent, 1 7th, that's going to be larger than 1 8th. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.